chemical resource are the important structural components of the plant cell wall. The cellulose and hemicellulose have some differences, but they have the similarity that cellulose and hemicellulose they both are the polysaccharides. As polysaccharides are the polymers of saccharide unit. As polysaccharides are made up of, they are the basically the polymer of many monosaccharide units. As the polysaccharides, as the saccharides or the sugar monomers are from the carbohydrates, as the many monosaccharide units or many carbohydrates in the unit, when they combine together or link together to a glycosidic bond, then they form the polysaccharides. So polysaccharides are the multiple monomer or the multiple saccharide units when they are linked to a glycosidic bond, they form the polysaccharides. So cellulose and hemicellulose are made up of many saccharide units that are linked to the glycosidic bond. Now the cellulose. Cellulose are made up of single unit of glucose. So cellulose, it is a polysaccharide. So this polysaccharide has been made up of many saccharide units. So the cellulose, all the units, all the monosaccharide units are made up of glucose. So it has, the cellulose is also known as a homopolysaccharide. So homopolysaccharide, it means that it consists of all the saccharide units are the same. All the saccharide units are the glucose. So in the cellulose, it is made up of all the units are the glucose. So it is also known as homopolysaccharide. If all units are same, it is made up of all the same glucose units. All are the same monosaccharide units. But the difference is that in the cellulose, these glucose units, these all glucose units are linked to a glycosidic bond. And there is the specific glycosidic bond known as the beta 1 4 glycosidic linkages. So each glucose unit are held together by the bond 1 4. As the, there is a linkage between first carbon and the fourth carbon, as the OH on the upper side, so it is the beta. So this is the beta glucose. So it has the beta glucose, beta D glucose, and beta D glucose linked with beta D glucose to the glycosidic linkages, and it forms the glycosidic linkages known as 1 4 glycosidic linkages. So cellulose, it can it's a polysaccharide, so it consists of many glucose units. It consists of many glucose units, and these glucose units are held together with a glycosidic linkage, more specifically, the glycosidic linkage is the beta 1 for glycosidic linkages. So, cellulose it is composed as it is the important component of the cell wall, it is a structural component of the cell wall, and it is involved in the formation of the cell wall of the plant cell. It is involved in the formation of plants, it is more specifically present in the plants, and it is taken up by the human being as a food source. As this cellulose is composed of the long chain, long polymer of the glucose, beta D glucose, so it, it has the long chains of polysaccharides. The glucose unit in the cellulose ranges from almost 7,000 to 15,000. It contains the, these beta D glucose uh, numbers from very from 7,000 to 15,000 glucose units or uh, monosaccharide units are present inside the cellulose. So these cellulose are taken up by human uh, by human being to the food source as a food source. So um, these uh, in the human the specific enzyme that is used for the digestion of the cellulose is absent as a human being does not have the enzyme for the breakage of this beta one four and glycosidic bond. So cellulose, they are used as a fiber, and they are the fiber, so they are involved in the digestion, they help, they aid in the motility of the food particles in the intestine, and they are also, because of this property that they are used as a fiber, they, they help in the digestion, so they are used to eliminate, uh, they, are, they are very helpful to prevent various diseases in the human body, like cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and colon cancer. The other is the hemicellulose. So what is the difference between the cellulose and hemicellulose? The hemicellulose is made up of the, as the cellulose was made up of same beta D glucose units, or multiple units, all the polymers were the glucose. But in hemicellulose, it is heteropolymer. It is made up of different types of monosaccharide units. It is made up of glucose, galactose, mannose, and xylose. As these glucose, galactose, mannose, and xylose have the same chemical formula, but they are the isomers of each other, that they have a different spatial arrangements of their uh, groups. So hemicellulose are made up of 
these different uh, monosaccharide units that it is made up of dynolos and the dynolos um, it has the beta 1 4 linkages with mannose and then mannose with glucose it has the beta 1 4 linkages and there is the galactose which is attached to the alpha 1 3 linkages so all these units are held together through different linkages and it forms the structure of the hemicellulose so hemicellulose as compared to the cellulose it is branch structure as in cellulose we saw it was straight chain of polymers of beta d glucose but this hemicellulose is a branch structure uh, it is highly branched and it is it is short this hemicellulose structure is short as compared to the cellulose this hemicellulose contains these monosaccharide units uh, almost ranges to the 3000 so hemicellulose is also the main uh, structural part of the uh, cell wall of the plant cells so what are the main differences as we have seen in this uh, video like uh, what are the main differences between the cellulose and the hemicellulose like uh, there is the structure differences but the function may be the same the cellulose the main difference are that there are three main differences the cellulose are all made up of the single they are made of the polymers of the single beta glucose unit but the hemicellulose they are made up of different several monosaccharide units they will be made up of xylose galactose mannose and raminose while the cellulose they are the long polymers that they are consist of the long polymers from up to it consists of the glucose units from the monosaccharide units from uh, 7000 to ranges from 7000 to 15000 monosaccharide units while the hemicellulose it is uh, shorter than cellulose as comparatively it is composed of the monosaccharide units up to 3000 cellulose is a straight chain polymer as they are the long straight chain polymers but the hemicellulose is the branch it's cross-linked as the uh, as we have seen that in the hemicellulose the glucose is attached to the remaining these monosaccharide the alpha 1 3 linkages so hemicellulose is a branch structure but these both are the structural components of the um, cell wall of the plant cells 